friends hello welcome back hopefully everybody is having a swell day today we are going out and bringing some veterans back some alumni back and some players that are currently in the league and moving them to teams in which they would get to play with a young and up and rising star with whom they was once their favorite player to watch. That probably sounded very confusing. I had to think that through my head like eight times before saying it. But basically what we're saying is a guy like Nathan McKinnon or Kale McCarr gets a chance to play with their favorite player growing up. Kale McCarr's favorite player growing up was none other than, as we know, Calgary Flan fan Flan. Calgary fan here, Jerome Aginla. So Aginla is going to make his way to the Colorado Avalanche, and he's going to get just that chance to play with Kale McCarr and this team. All of a sudden, is really, really nasty. I mean, it already was, but it's looking even better. Now, a lot of these guys come from Sportsnet's mini video they had last year, two years ago, where players told them their favorite players growing up nonetheless we are going this is where things get dicey we're already getting to the dicey part of this video we're going to the new york islanders matthew barzell's favorite player growing up was sid the kid crosby a current player which means crosby is now going to go to the new york islanders and the way we're going to do this is the youngest player is the team that these guys are all going to be represented by in this case matthew barzell is the younger guy so crosby's going to come over and play with barzell and we're bringing this up because it's going to get a little bit sticky because now we're talking Sidney Crosby's favorite player growing up. And Sidney Crosby's favorite player growing up is no longer in the league, understandably so, because, again, Crosby's been around for a very long time. But it was Mr. Steve Eisenman of the Detroit Red Wings. Now we're going to bring him over to the Islanders as well because, again, Barzell, it's Barzell's team because he's the youngest player. Barzell gets to play with Crosby. Now Crosby gets to play with uh, Eisenman. So a little bit of a loaded team over there on the Islanders. We'll see how that turns out for these guys. How about we talk about Jonathan Tace? It probably does not surprise us too much at all that a guy like Joe Sackick was Jonathan Tace's favorite player growing up. This guy was an absolute stud, played up the middle, 5'11". Not a bad player. Now, what is Tace? That's, just, that's what Tace is, right? Oh, nice, 6'2". Who are you talking to, dude? Six two. I don't know why I was thinking. Taze is a big guy. He always feels like you know what it is when Taze used to get nasty hut cards and he gave him a high overall. It always felt like Jonathan Taze played a little bit faster. At least it did for me. I always loved using Taze's card. Felt like you played fast for a six two guy. How about Cam Atkinson? I know random player, Blue Jacket player though. Uh, actually, that's a lie. Former Blue Jacket player. Gotta go to the right team. He's going to go and play for the Flyers. That's just, so is his favorite player. Cam Atkinson, though, favorite player growing up was Marty St. Louis. Now, is he even in the game? I think a lot of these guys aren't in the game. They were in years previous games. There's some players on here who we had on the list who they was in the game before, but they took them out, so we can't quite use them. But, yeah, St. Louis is here. Cam Atkinson's reason, very understandable why he likes Marty St. Louis. About the same size, smaller guys. He's like, hey, St. Louis can do it. I can do it. And that just so happened to be the case here. How about we go to some big hitters now let's talk austin matthews austin matthews cheated he thinks he can have two favorite players and that's just not how this is supposed to work matthews and it's gonna work though he's a fan of shane doan and this is just completely unfair what's about to happen in toronto maple leafs but he's a fan of shane doan i am sorry jonathan taze that you added joe sackage but you're losing patrick kane because matthews was a big Patrick Kane fan. His team now is Matthews, Kane, Marner, Riley, Tavares, Nylander, and Shane Doug. They got some bodies out there now. This team's going to be pretty nasty. Let's talk Patrick Line. I, I, no, this one, I mean, it's probably a slam dunk if you really think about it. There's a lot of comparisons about when Line came out of the draft and what the expectations could have possibly been for him. I mean, you're never going to actually reach those expectations because arguably the greatest goal scorer of all time. But he could have tried to mimic him or get close. And hey, you never know. Anybody's capable of being that next best thing, really. So we can't even say that about Patrick Liney. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally on the Winnipeg Gets right now talking about Patrick Liney. What a Blue Jacket fan we are. Patrick Liney is the favorite player growing up. Alex Ovechkin going to the Blue Jackets, getting that goal score this team has been desperately needing. Now they got two. Liney and Ovechkin got to get a chance to play with one another. How about Carey Price? Carey Price... Goaltender, grew up an Edmonton Oilers fan, 
also grew up as you would imagine as a goaltender a goaltender fan favorite player patrick wall patrick wall is now coming back to the montreal canadians they now have Carey price and patrick brawl that just feels a little bit illegal i the game agreed because we couldn't make the trade there you go patrick wall welcome back to the canadians a little flash in the past mixed with one of the best goaltenders in the league today gonna be a crazy combo you know what you know what let's go ahead and boost up these flyers a little bit more let's talk sean couturier sean couturier favorite player you may have heard of him we're boosting up these penguin flyers and we are just fleecing and completely tearing apart the penguins malkin evgeny malkin sean couturier's favorite player growing up he is now a philadelphia flyer now malkin st louis and couturier how about we go on over to hmm how do we feel about hmm oh you know what i got a place for you let's go to the panthers jonathan huberdo 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 you call him what you want i just call him an absolute stud and he knows his hockey players he may or may not have been fan a fan favorite of mario lemieux going to the flyers they now have huberdo Borkov, Ekblad, and now one of the best to ever lace him up, Mario Lemieux. Let's go on over to the Dallas Stars. Let's go to, yeah, Jean Klingberg. Klingberg, the 86 overall defenseman, one of the core pieces of this Dallas team. But what would you do if you said, you know what, let's add a little bit more of a core piece. Peter Forsberg, favorite player of Klingberg growing up, now a Dallas star. Team is getting a little bit better. Let's go to Carolina. Let's end things with Carolina and Jacob Slavin, whose favorite player growing up, you can imagine, was a defender, played for the Red Wings. You might have heard of him. Nicholas Lidstrom, welcome to the Carolina Hurricanes. I imagine things will be quite different in this league. Let's go ahead, jump into a season. I think we got to use, have to use um crosby you gotta use the islanders right we gotta see what they can do crosby barzell i i mean jeez i'm sorry bailey but these boys gotta play together the rules are the rules can you play center probably not i mean honestly the, yeah you're fine 79 that's perfect you gotta put eisenman crosby and barzell together though let's go ahead and jump into this season and see how this league turns out Islanders looking like a playoff team. Flyers looking like a playoff team. Hurricanes looking like one. Blue Jackets up in there. The now Ovechkin-led Columbus Blue Jackets. Going to finish second in the division. The Islanders, did they just squeak in or did Tampa just squeak in? Tampa, who did they lose? Anybody? I don't think we took anybody from Tampa. I didn't quite catch our record now. Tampa's 57-17. We're the underdog. 42-34. Even with Crosby. Even with Iserman, this team still just squeaked in the playoffs it is what it is i always like the islanders from a defensive standpoint so i thought you brought those guys over and this team would be filthy they still killed it 43 by 53 i we only had one line that is true we put all these guys together but I, I, you had to do it you had to put those guys together. it just seemed like a good time can't think of a better way to do it as far as the entire league goes how did it look mcdavid still let everybody and so did dry side right behind what is dry side of 894 she's Crosby again 96 Matthews put up 95 points Kane now playing with Matthews put up 94 points too up uh, oh jeez top line to put up 81 goals between two players not a big deal Sackick over there on the Blackhawks now 93 points killed it Kucherov up there Mitch Marner Obi for the Blue Jackets 47 Genos plus six helped elevate this team Mario Lemieux may be the surprise here played on a really good Florida Panthers team was just a point per game. Oh, but he did score 53 goals. That's pretty solid in my book there. Zegras dropped 80 points. Not bad. There's Iserman with 78 points there. Barcel is a little bit below him there. There's Kel McCarr. We have not seen what defenseman were with Lidstrom. I don't know. I was about to say where would Lidstrom be. He might not be up here. But there he is. 74 points and 69 assists. I would say he was a pretty impactful player. For the Carolina Hurricanes this season. That might be safe. To, hey, actually, hold on a second. That's not what I want to see. I want to see what happened over in Montreal. You brought Patrick Wall over there. You already had Carey Price. What a tandem. 
9.14, 9.13. So they kind of split starts, but not really. And 31 games of 84. I, I he played, what was that, one in every three? A little, a little over one in every three. That ain't bad. 2.7 due and 2.96. It doesn't look like that got that team to playoffs, even with the nastiest goaltending combo you could ever ask for. Carolina, Columbus, Philly, and the Islanders making playoffs. Rangers, Devils, Capitals, Penguins. Again, teams that got depleted or are already depleted. And the Rangers, they didn't lose anybody. They missed playoffs. They're tough on the Rangers. As far as the... That would be the entire league. As far as the Easter Conference is concerned, that would be the wrong conference. What are we looking for here, dude? Is it your first day making YouTube videos? That might be. Tampa Bay, 122 points. Let's look for the Atlantic. I was thinking Eastern, but Atlantic, Eastern. It seems logical, Eastern Division. Not, though. Uh, the, the Leafs, 102 points. Panthers, 98. Bruins, 98. Canadians, again, missed it. Red Wings couldn't quite make it either there. In the Pacific, we better go Central first. In the Central, Colorado making playoffs. Uh, Chicago making playoffs. Now, Joe Sackick led. Winnipeg in there. St. Louis, Dallas. Not doing too shabby themselves over there. Over in the Pacific, at Vegas, Seattle, and Anaheim. No shakeups in the Pacific Division, it appears. Let's see who wins the Stanley Cup, though, real quick. I'm calling it now. I'm feeling a mix-up. I think the Islanders are going to upset everybody here and win this Stanley Cup. This is a team built for playoffs. They are nasty. Uh, unless they play the Florida Panthers and they just get completely walked over. All right, maybe the Panthers will win a Stanley Cup. My, I didn't even get the theory out of my mouth on the Islanders before these eliminated. And it's going to go... Oh, we got two more games left. Let's say it's going to go to the Panthers. But it looks like the Carolina or Colorado Avalanche have a chance there. Cam McCarr bringing his friend over currently. Clearly, I should say. Helping this team win a Stanley Cup. As for this video, though, guys, as always, if you enjoyed it, hey, James Norris, going to McCarr. If you enjoyed it, we'd always appreciate you considering subscribing, like the video. You never have to. Con Smythe going to ranting in. They even need him. Uh, Patrice Bergeron getting to Selkie. Lindsay going to McDavid. Marisa Shard going to Lemieux, obviously. I'm Gino, he scored. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed the video, as always, thumbs up, subscription, never required. Always appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.